We also have the big banks' earnings on Friday. Yeah, we also have Delta too, by the way. Uh, Delta's going to report in the interim, and I think Delta's going to be affected by good good numbers, not as good as American, perhaps. Um, the banks are going to be difficult, and I'll tell you why, because the, Ye the Yellen testimony, uh, which also has the market going, because she's basically saying, look, we're going to put some rate hikes in, but not no real hurry, it's not going to hurt the market. Uh, we're going to sell the bonds. I hope Gary Cohen's selling the bonds. But, you know, the, you need to see rates uh, really back to where they were earlier in the spring to get these banks to have the number, number bumps that we want. See, one of the things that's happened is the banks report, nobody bumps the numbers, no one says anything other than that was a good quarter. Now we know that if you're in a tech stock, you, you get the raised forecast, you get things going. Um, JP Morgan went very much to raise the forecast on higher rates and on the Fed raising uh, the short rates, uh, and you need both those to really get the stock to go to 100, which is my price target. Uh, I remain committed to owning City. We did trim some Wells Fargo yesterday uh, um, because we just felt that it was just out of whack. I like Key better than all of them. Key is the one that has done to be able to give you the bump, earnings bump because Key bought First Niagara. And Key was one of the, you know, most banks can't buy any, other, most of the large banks can't buy any others because the concentration is so heavy. But uh, uh, Beth Mooney bought uh, First Niagara and, the, and it, it, it's been a very, very good uh, acquisition.